Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video in the series of machine learning with scikit-learn. Today we'll be talking about another important algorithm in regression that is random forest regression. So let's move forward with it. Now in this video we'll be talking about what is random forest using the random forest algorithm as a regressor and by looking into one of the examples for the same now here we are in our jupyter notebook and today we'll be talking about random forest regressor so the idea behind random forest algorithm is that it takes not just one computation as your final result but a combination of multiple values and then try to calculate the results for the same now the classic example which has been given from random forest is that for example you have a bunch of balls inside a very big balloon and since you are able to see that you are accounted that you need to tell how many balls are there inside that specific balloons now if you tell that on an accordance to at least 20 people they will be having their own specific values for example let's say that some person says the minimum value on the walls is 10 and some says 100 now all of them the guesses the best guess that the nearest one that one can get is by having the mean of all the values specified that is the principle how random forest works now by the time we are using a random forest regressor we can use the same according with a multiple linear regression and it finalizes to one specific regressor at the end which gives us the best value that can be predicted from that now random forest regressor uses a stepwise prediction on a specific level for its regression purposes so let's get started with the example now here I have imported the specific the necessary libraries numpy uh, matplotlib and pandas and here we are looking at one of the salary values now this is the data set that I'm having and I'm reading it through panda.read underscore CSV inside that this is the data frame that we have now inside that I'm taking X and Y values now X and Y values are defined using the I log function inside the pandas and in this one what we have to predict is this is the range through which the salary increases for the specific positions now we have level 1 to 10 and it increases from 4.5 to 7 now what we have to do is that we have to find a specific value how much it will be at 8.5 so let's see how it works so random forest regressor is available inside the library of ensembles as the ensemble library detail the presence of enabling a different bunch of models and keeping them together that's the ensemble subclass that we have inside that we are calling the specific random forest regressor now in this instance of this class we have we have the one of the most important lines so in a random forest regressor we need to take the number of forest or you can say the number of trees in which we have and that much values will be used to predict the regressor followed by taking the mean for that so in this one the n estimators or the number of trees that we have considered is 50 now one can take any value from 1 till the limit through which the computation can be handled from a computer but 50 is good enough for a very small amount of data like that in the random state we have taken random state of zero now the random state simply defines by the each time your regressor predicts a value it makes sure that the state remains the same by which the bias doesn't occur now when we take an instance of that and I fit the value that I have for X and Y I get this specific class now it says that the random forest regressor is in running 
having this default values of the parameters and set of the one that we have given to it. Now, what we want to do is that we want to predict the specific salary of the year if it's 8.5, which has not been provided. So let's see how well does random false regressor works with that. Now, when I run that and I see the value that I have, as you can see, it gave you the results in a stepwise function, which is increasing over a point of time. And we can see that the red dots represents the correct value followed by the blue line representing the prediction curve that is being given from the algorithm. Now, as we can see, the specific line is crossing all of the means of the point, which gives us a very good classification. Now, what else we can do about it? Now, if we can change the number of trees in that, for example, if I change the number of trees to 10 and then try to predict the value again, it's, it got it inside the Y predict and we try to predict the graph. Now, for this time, we can see clearly see this curve is different as compared to the other one. As the step function increased in this one, it is having a recorded a different session for that. Now, if I go back to this session again and increase the number of estimators or trees to 100, I think we'll be having much more precise results for that. As you can see, the values that we have now is being accurately fit for each of the data which is being given to us. As you can see, the value of the distribution of the red point is not in a linear curve, which simply demonstrates that it's not a linear distributed function in which we cannot use the linear values or the linear regression. Now, according to the same, if you just keep 50, that would be good enough. So as we can see, the random forest regressor gave us the value in a stepwise function and it says that the, after this point of saturation, the value should be at 6. Now since the data that we had is up to the 7, that is the value that the CEO salary is holding is 7, it still gets into the curve which does not fit the line accurately. So that's why random forest regressor was able to just predict till this point of time with, through which the best suited curve it could have predicted was the, the one which has been highlighted in blue. That is the overview of what we call as the at random forest regressor as one of the important libraries in scikit-learn and for regression including the others that we have discussed in the same. Thank you.